Hello, everyone.
think it's this one. My opponent will go first. Thank you. 
Hello there.
Hey, Kron. <laughs> Thanks for the subscription. I think buddy buddy possum this thing. I think I'm going to win this match.
I am not winning this match. Hello. I'm not doing too bad. Buddy Poppins don't really help me out. Nest balls do. This doesn't work at all. Catch more energy. Yuki. 
poison Pokemon. This would work. Uh, we can try it. Let's put two in there. We shall try it.
Dang, that is a huge hand.
Hey, not much. Ah. Yes, I am. Yeah, I'm still trying to build it in real life at the at the moment. Next, next turn, I'll grab all of these and put them in my hand.
have enough to do 50. Heads, 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 yay. Which one should I take out? Arceus? Oh no, not that one. Arceus. Buddy, buddy, buddy. Counted wrong. Oh, really? Uh, the weakness is water. If if I did that, it would have made it even stronger. I didn't count right. I didn't count right. Should have put the other energy there. Darn it. Yeah, I think you're right. I should have took out the Arcanine. It's from my deck, not my discard pile. Darn it. Alright, so it's... I already have 50 on, so this is 100. 150. 200. 250. Right? Oh no. Am I doing that wrong? So, 50, 100, 150. I don't have to do that much. My brain is not working today. My, my brain's not working today. It's a good thing I didn't do any damage to Arcanine because it would have hurt me.
500. Oh yeah, because it's steel. Yeah. I am weak to fire. I forgot. Ah, I got a gold dingo. Gold dingo. Put a bait. Put a Pokemon or a basic. Discard. Oh, I could choose one or one. Okay. Knock this guy out. Seven. It's all to KO. Still have two energies in the thing. I think I'm good for now. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I wish I could take three. That'd be cool. Yeah. I can't remember if there is a boss. I think there is. Aha, I got a boss. All right, let me uh, get all the uh, energies. That should be enough. Making it rain, boy. A really big KO.
Victory! Yay! All right, who wants some codes? Who wants some codes? Codes? I got codes. I got codes. I got codes. Got a pair of sandals. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put them in the chat. Ooh, another Pheasantipity. Alrighty, here comes the first code. That is a code for a Play Pokemon Prize Pack Series 5. That is a Series 5 prize pack. Hello there. Dang mulligan. I couldn't find any gimme ghouls at Pokemon League today. Ugh. But I did get another golden uh, gold gold dingo ex today, so that's good. At least I got one. one I just need one more card for the gold dingo, and then I got uh, another holographic uh, steel energy. The only the only things I don't have is the pokey stocks. I'm gonna probably have to order those online. Poison. Tapia. Uh, 
No, gold dining. One tail. I think this is the Roaring Moon deck. I think. It should be... Should be D H R hyphen M V N two dash B R H dash L Q Z. That's what it says here. Ah, oh, dang it. Threw the energy on the wrong one. Well. Oh, I put it, yeah, because I did lowercase, so it's all lowercase. Uh, the code was lowercase, so, yeah. Uh, next time I'll put the code in as a uh, capital, so it makes it easier.
Hello there. No, I haven't built a new deck yet. Dang it, one to hills. If I have enough to knock out Roaring Moon. I think I have enough to knock out this one. Six for Moon, okay. Hundred fifty. Use two. Oh, yeah, true. Two, two hundred. Hey, go dango. Booster. Need six to kill 
hope you draw energy, yeah. <laughs> That a move. Ooh, the Until the end of your turn, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. That really sucks because that doesn't really help me at all. Okay, I got another energy. There can be when you put a basic Pokemon from you find that the opponent's bench. Put a base Pokemon onto their bunch and this way switch in that. Hmm, I don't know if I want to use that. Um... Okay, I got six now. Time to make it rain. Ooh, I gotta switch. Ooh, I'm gonna focus now. Alright, time to make it rain. Make it rain. Make it rain. Done. Knockout. Goodbye, Roaring. Five to KO, yep. I think Goldango is good against uh, Rari Moon. My, uh, one of our Pokemon League players yesterday um, played in a tournament and uh, they used Roaring Moon. They actually won.
for the Cypher to coin. Another six. Time to destroy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, two more gold dangos. I won, I won, I won. Damn. Another code, another code, another code, another code. Another code. Two. Oh, it's not even hitting the thing.
really want to fix I really want to fix my Lunatone Silver Rock. I think I just have the wrong stuff in there. Glasses are dirty, really dirty. Actually, I'm gonna go and grab the. I'll, I'll be right back. Oh, terribly sorry that I can't hear you because I don't have a headset on my head. <laughs> I'm good. Good one. That's good. Ooh, nice. Yeah, the prize pack. Cards are pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it depends on the day. Okay, yes, that sounds about reasonable. Nice. Do you, well, do you, do you see my camera right now in the, in the stream? Well, yeah. Th this, this is uh, the stack of codes I currently have. Yeah, and I'll be getting I'll, I'll I'll be getting more codes from Stellar Crown this coming Saturday. So <laughs> yeah, th these are all mixed from t uh, Temporal Forces, uh, Shrouded Fable, Obsidian Flames, uh, Twilight Masquerade. Yeah, just a ton.
Oh, yeah. I don't know if I have any. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm just currently trying to get the, oh, I got a 151 code here, oh, I got a couple of these. Yeah. Oh, Crown Zenith. I got some Crown Zenith codes. Yeah, the back when the Pokemon trading card game not uh, the online one. Um, my favorite deck in that was to play uh, the Nuzzle deck. It, it's Pikachu and uh, uh, Emolga and Pat Pachirisu. Oh, yeah, the currency. <laughs> oh, you're in luck. I found some Paradox Rift. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you have you ever um, messed around with the uh, Soul Rock Lunatone deck? trying to figure out right now with my deck I know it's got Mewtwo V and Mewtwo V star but for some reason uh, I don't know if Screamtail should be in it or not like I got the yeah I got not the EX version I got the, the regular Screamtail the Roaring Scream yeah Yeah, so I had that screen tail and then I had this one. Screen. I had this one, the EX one. Yeah. Yeah. 
But as for, yeah, as for trainers, I'm not entirely sure that I have the correct trainers for this deck. Yeah. Five Mzo is now following. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely want to build my uh my my dark my dark deck. My dark Zora deck. But have you played a have you played a new one? So the Alright, so I I organized all the code cards. So this is Twilight Masquerade in my hand. This is Twilight. I mean this this is Twilight Masquerade. This is Temporal Force. And then I got like three other codes. Uh, that one of them, I got two three pack codes, like a blister, a cleffa. Um, and I got like a few codes of scarlet and violet. Base, base set. I only got this, I only got the packs because, um, you know, earlier trainer cards were in it. Hello, five. Yep. And then I got price pack codes. So you, you, and I got shrouded fable codes. That's, it's, yeah, it's. It was uh, August. Noise. I'm, I'm going to give you these uh, paradox codes. Posting the codes in uh, the uh, voice text chat. Oh, are you? Oh, are you on? Are you talking Discord on Xbox? Oh, okay. Okay. Or, or I can just message you. Tomorrow, listen. There will be lots of sun. High seventy-six degrees Fahrenheit in a low fifty-two degrees. I don't know if I don't, I don't think uh, he can. But let me let me double check. He, he, can you all right, say something? No, he can, he can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, let me. Um, I can fix that though. I can make it so he. I just gotta see. All right, he can hear you now. Yeah, because what I was going to ask is, if you're starting the uh, game five, what deck have you decided to start with by any chance? Because if you don't have a deck to start with, I can always help you making your first deck if you need support.
Because obviously I lo I'm more like like you, uh, Obi. I'm very Obi. Should I call you Obi, Obi? What one would you prefer, or what would you, oh, what would you Obi, prefer oh, being called? Obi's fine. Yeah. Like you, uh, would I like helping people out? Even though I'm not the most experienced player, I can definitely help with deck building and getting people started. Where's the first? Yep, I just got the message. Cool. All the all the code that you send me, I'll write down into my little notepad. Oh, who's that? Um, Dozo. I don't know. Do you know that person? Okay. That must be five. That must be five. Oh. Yeah, it's fine for them to pop in. Well, I didn't have no issue with them not hopping in. I don't either. Yeah, f five. You can come back in the chat if you want in the voice chat. You're welcome. Oh, you're saying I've, we have no issue with you jumping in. We we're just we we're just discussing about uh, code cards and uh, tournaments and current metas. So what exactly, because uh, I know your end is different, what kind of decks does uh, the people down at your uh, your shop uh, normally play? Um, they normally play like Charizard, Roaring Moon, um... Dragapult? Dragapult. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think my... Those yeah, decks. those kind of decks. Yeah. I think my most hated deck currently in the meta is uh, Bennett. Bennett EX with Dusk Noir. I hate that deck. Mm. Because it's it just stops you playing item cards. It's so painful. Yeah. Oh, you want to play the game? I say no. That is that. That's what that deck does. Especially with Gold Dango. That is your biggest weakness. Is if they stop you playing items, you just cannot do anything. Yeah. That's why, obviously, I have lots right. of different decks. That's the last card. Oh, Garatina V Star. Oh, uh, if you're running Garatina V Star, are you run uh just standard Garatina, or are you run a Lost Box Garatina with like Comfy and uh, what's the, what's that water type Pokemon? Manaphy. Not Manaphy, the bird. Oh, Camerant. Yeah, Cramoran, that's the card. Yeah, yeah the last box. Yeah, yeah, Cramoran's a very good card for that. Comfy Cramoran's a very nice combination with Garatina. It's a very good deck. It's not that great in the meta anymore, but it can still, it can still win games. And a lot of them nowadays have been running uh, Sableye with uh, Radiant Zard. Quite a few of them nowadays. Hey, five. Here comes a code for you. Free codes. That's awesome. You're playing our IRL. I, I'm currently a Goldengo player, but I also have been dipping into uh, a little bit of. Uh, There's a code for you. Yeah, mainly gold. I say mainly Goldengo is my main deck at the moment. Goldengo, um, Goldengo Turbo. I really want to build uh, the new Greninja. What? The, uh, the fighting type of Greninja. Yeah, I have that. Yep, 151. 151's a good set. One of my favorites, to be fair. And uh, I can give you... Um... What's a good deck to use in that set? Ooh, there's quite a few you can run. Uh, so we see Charizard's in that set, so you could always run the Charizard. Armor Rouge is fun. Armor Rouge is fun to run. You could run Arbok uh, discard deck, which is funny if you want it to be in the Kamimi deck. Arbok's a fun one. Uh, you can run uh, Mirai Dog with <laughs> Mew EX. Um, Mew Mew, Mew EX is in that set. Mew EX and um, Kangaskhan. Yeah, Kangas can't is funny. Yeah, Kangas can't is fun. Uh, what else can you run? 
I made a meme deck of uh, what's it called? Uh, Machamp Mill, which you played against, which you found kind of hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mew deck is great. Mew deck is good. I'm saying, obviously, okay. you, Mew, v, Mew V Max used to be the meta back in the day. Man, I forgot about those days. Mew V Max. Remember that deck being so annoying. <laughs> and I used to run Zard just to get rid, just to beat Mew V Max. Mu V Max, Reggie Drago, Reg Lecky, a uh, Reg Lecky Maridon. Man, like, what other cards I think of, and what other decks can I think of from 151? Uh, Blastoise. Yeah, Blastoise. Yeah, you can run Blastoise. I ran uh, Blastoise and Alkia. Yeah, Blastoise and Radiant Blastoise works very well. Yeah. Yeah, I ran Blastoise Palkia with mine. And another time with Bla and a friend of mine ran uh, Blastoise Shen Pao. And Blastoise Shen Pao was actually a very nice fucking deck. Very, swear. very nice. Sorry, my apologies. <laughs> yeah. But it was a very nice deck. Um, Alright, let's go into decks. I'm gonna go get one of my decks. I'll be right back. I gotta go into my back. Cool. Sounds good. Jealous. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm. I wish I had that many cards. Uh, I, I have, have two I decks. Have, I have everything in here. I have my laptop. I have a webcam on a tripod. Then I have all my I have all my binders with all the cards, and then I have all my decks, and then I have three play mats. Yeah, what's, the, what's your favorite play mat? My new Pikachu play mat. Ooh, I'm currently running the uh, Crown Z the Crown Zenith Collectors Box. The what's it called? Uh, the po I forgot what the Pokemon's called. The one that Merrin uses. In the games. Now I just need to make my dark deck on the screen. Dark decks are fun. I I miss playing Dark Rai, Dark Rai, uh, Arbot Dark Rai. I do miss playing that deck. Now this deck is like half shrouded fatal and half. Interesting. Zora. I'll look for. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Right. Because the deck I have made today was uh, Mel Metal Matang. That's the deck I made today, which was quite funny. I remember when Yvalta was in the was in the meta. I I miss that. I remember that deck. Uh, what else do I remember in the old days? Uh, Tapu Bulu. In the old days. Mm -hmm. 
not Alolan Nine Tails, uh, Sylveon. Oh, it's my power squawk ability. Yeah. Morty's conviction. I am boy to look at your Pokemon. I am a little bit worried though about your Pokemon. I I know I don't have enough right now. Those are the uh, only, those are the only ones in yeah. my deck right now. Yeah, just saying, because you have no protection against, like, Dragapult or, or like, Greninja or something like that. So they could just hit your bench and knock out your bench. So I'm, cur I'm currently trying to f do uh, finish off the uh, 151 set, currently. I need, like, three cards left to finish it. But I'm just trying to wait till I get paid so I can buy them. write these codes down as well so I can just put them in them I up. am making a dark deck right now from my from my real cards to TCG live I have 2,750 uh, color gem things. Nice. That lost you a while. No problem. So what's the next set anyway? What? What's the next set anyway? Stella Crown. When is that out? Because I don't know when that is. I don't uh, know when my out. my pre-release um, is this Saturday, this coming Saturday, September seventh. But the full release, it, the full release is September thirteenth. It's not that far away. I Maybe mean, I might have to try and get some packs if I can. Since my since, get, like... since my shop is a pre-release shop, it, um, it's. Stuff is going to be on sale, well not on sale, but stuff is going to be, you know, for, uh, to buy on, on Monday the 9th. So after, after our pre-release, that following Monday, you'll be able to go into the store and buy a booster box or a build and battle kit or just single packs. Yeah, so I want to try and get, I'm thinking of buying two booster boxes and four ETBs and doing like a massive opening on Twitch. So I also want to try and get another uh, Paradox Rift booster box and a uh, Obsidian Flames as well. Because I, I would get 151 to complete my set, but I only need three cards left and then I've completed it all. Mm -hmm. All I need is the, all I need is the old art blast toys, the uh, standard Zapdos, and then I think it was just the oh, I think it was reverse Hollow Machamp. I think that's all, literally all I need left. And then I have a full set sitting there in a folder that I'm gonna keep to myself. And then any doubles and that I use, I can just sell on. 
and I'll see if I can just type in these codes and hopefully I can get some good cards out of it. Yeah, that's fine. You can do that. I'll, if you keep watching the stream, I, I pop codes in the stream every, like, every so often, so you'll, you'll have plenty of codes to choose from. <laughs> what codes is he after? I don't know, just probably any codes at this point. And I take as much as I can. Right. Let's see if I can get anything good with these three Paradox Rift booster packs. Give me a full art gold dango and I'll be happy. <laughs> That's all I want. So, Melby. Wig Wiglet's a fun deck to build. The uh, Wig Wig Trio Mill. It's quite a funny deck to build. Ampom. Norman. That year, so that's not great. Next. Hone Edge. Gibble. Rock. Dundozo. Penimus. Zekrom. Not great. Final one. We have. Neck Attack. Nickly. I don't know how you say that name. Toad Scroll. Yep. Yeah. Simi Sage. Or reverse snow run. That's quite nice. And Kindra. It's not bad. Not bad pulls. Not bad at all. Um, Twilight Masquerade you decks, do? um, you can make, uh, Festival Grounds. Quite a few decks you can make at that Twilight Masquerade. Uh, you can make a the new Poison deck is quite fun to play. Uh, what else can I remember the top of my head from Twilight Masquerade? Uh... Uh, Bennett. Bennett Dos Noir, even though I'd hate you if you played it, but I don't blame you as a good <laughs> deck. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of people have run Dr Reggie Drago. Like, a lot of people. Like... Charizard's always still going to be in the meta. Goldengo is is more of a rogue deck, but has come top 20 in Worlds. So. But I'll quickly have a look for you of any cards that I'd recommend you getting. So I know uh, in the Battle Pass there is Fezendivity I'd 100% try and get. Uh, the, what, there's a... F what's that? What's the poison card that if you... Uh, you can make a, a, po a Pokemon event switch to the active, but it takes te but it does take a poison. 
dark type Pokemon. Because I think that's in the pass as well. That would be a very good one to get. Because po poison is quite fun. Let me see. Let me help you. Let me see if I can help you out. Cool. I'll go try and help out this person. Like, there is plenty of cards that you could run from this set. Uh, the Teal Mask Ogapon is a very cool card. Uh, Dragapult is very, very popular. Iron Thorn just was the World Championship deck. So if you want to run the World Champion deck, run Iron Thorns. Uh... Greninja is fun to play. It's not the best, but it's very fun. Like, there is plenty of options that you could play. But Charizard Dragapult is probably the one that yeah. I would say people are using the most. Here's the um, Brute Bonnet. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon has an Ancient Booster Energy Capsule attached, you may m make both active Pokemon poison. It's not bad. It's not a bad card, but you'd have to run Ancient Capsule, though, if you really yeah. want to make it work. During your next turn, this Pokemon can. They should add trading. I think they're planning to try and do that, but I'm not 100% sure when that's happening. But I have been told that they are trying to figure that out. Fifty Lost Origin. Yeah, Lost Origin. I'm not. I don't. I don't think Lost Origin will be in the meta that much longer. I'm not sure. I think it might be coming being removed soon, isn't it? I think I've got like two or three more sets left, and it's going to be put away. Yeah. Look, has it got le many left to go for Lost Origin? Uh, but if it was me, and you wanted to get a, a set where you can easily make a structure, I would choose one of these three personally. I would choose either 151, Obsidian Flames, or Paradox Rift. They're the three, one of those three other ones I would choose to get started on at the moment for the meta. Because Roaring Moon is very popular and ah. in Paradox Rift. Charizard Pidgeot is in 151 and in Obsidian Flames. So if you want to build Charizard, that's a good option. And, al and also Mew is in, uh, is in 151. Uh, Paradox Rift, Goldengo, very popular, still plays. 50 Obsidian Play for 6, that's actually not bad. 50 Obsidian Play for $6 isn't bad. Obsidian Flames, 151, or Paradox are the three, in my opinion, you should go for, if you're wanting to start <laughs> off. Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith is uh, kind of out of the meta, so I wouldn't get Crown Zenith, personally. Because, no, I think all the cards are no longer in the meta anymore. Unfortunately, because, like, all, like, for example, VR Battle VIP and stuff like that are all out, are uh, no longer in rotation anymore. Instead, you run uh, uh, Buddy Buddy Poffins instead. 
uh, allows you to put on the bench uh, two Pokemon from your from your deck to the bench, but it has to be 70 HP or less. And also, if you want to get Buddy Buddy Poppins really badly, you can level up in the pass, and you can get four gold ones in the pass. I think it's to level 15. Yep. I'm gonna do Obsidian Flames. Yeah, good choice. Obsidian Flames is a good choice. Like I said, 151 Obsidian Flames or Paradox, I would go for personally. Ah. Especially if you want to build Charizard. Great pick. But also, if you want to do Charizard Dragapult, uh, you could also buy Masquerade and start building Paradox. You're level 3 so far? You've got plenty of time to try and level up as much as you can. Remember, at the end of the season, there's always you always get gems in that back, depending on how high you get. So the more you play and the higher you get, the more points you'll get at the end, so you can use it for next season. Mm -hmm. And get the next lot of cards. And if you have any support or need a specific deck, to help out with i'm more than welcome to talk to you about them and how they can structure and i can give you like a basic idea of what to how to play it because charas i would say if you wanted to learn like a basic like ex deck charizard or maridon are probably the two easiest to learn Or even if you, but if you want Goldengo on the other hand, then you're talking to the perfect person. <laughs> but that's in Paradox Rift, so it's harder to get. Paradox Rift, very good set. Uh, very good set if you're wanting to build either out of the four. You could, if you want to build Goldengo, really good. If you want to build Roaring Moon, very good. If you want item and supporters, specific items and supporters that allows you to grab energy, very good set. Or if there's support is that you need that allows you to bring uh allows you to switch pokemon out easier go for that set and if you need more advice on what each of the decks do more welcome to ask Oh yeah, your your uh, box, your Zorok deck is looking very nice. All right, let's try this uh, Dark Patch deck. Let's ha I'm looking forward to seeing it. Let's see what it do Let's see what it can do. My desk is just full of code cards. <laughs> Can't go wrong. You gotta love code cards. I love code cards. Everyone loves code cards. I might buy myself some very soon, to be fair. I might buy... A hundred Paradox, a hundred... A hundred 151 and a hundred Obsidian. Just so I can build up enough points so I can get the next lot ready for the next time for the new meta coming out for the new set oh, mulligan that's not great <laughs> that's okay that's fair they don't waste your money on co cards if you don't need to just do it when you have the money.
Like right now, if I had the money in my bank right now, I'd probably send you a bunch. But I currently don't have anything currently. Not until I'm paid. Hey, look at that. There's another coat. <laughs> oh, there you go. Take that one. And what set is that you have put in the chat? It's a prize pack coat. So it could be cards from many different sets. That's very... There you go. Another one for you to use. Hello there. I just love that. Hello there. <laughs> I used the Giovanni's... <laughs> Giovanni's... Giovanni's charisma to remove energy from my main key and allows me to put another energy on from my hand onto the Pokemon. Yeah, that's kind of funny. I ran that in uh, Arbok. So make them have energy in their hand and then make them, but then attack them and make them scar two cards and so make them discard the <laughs> energy that they try to put on it. It's yeah. so funny. Oh, nice. You got a reverse energy. Nice. Reverse energies are always good to have. Very nice. What co what reverse energy did you get? What color? What type? Uh, so I think the one I got in the last pack that uh, Obi got me, I got uh, fighting. The one I got. Fire fire is a good one, especially if you're running Charizard. That's a very good one to have. I'm kind of jealous actually, because fighting's fighting's not really that used that much, but fire really is a good one. Especially there is, uh, if you can get to at least, I think it's tier 18, I think. There is five gold, there's uh, six gold uh, f uh, fire energies that you can get, and I also I think in tier 20 there's six dark energy, gold dark energies you can get as well. Stampede! Knockout! <laughs> Knock him out. Knock Ooh, him we out. got a Zorark. Nice. You just gotta hope he doesn't knock you out. Yeah. The next deck oh, I yeah. want the next deck I wanna make after <sighs> after this is my hypno deck. <laughs> Oh, Hypno, funny. Great yeah. Pokemon. My Hypno deck from uh, Shrouded Fable. So anytime my opponent attaches an energy uh, to their Pokemon, their turn just ends. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah. Unless I can't see Cologne you, then it's not funny. Yeah, no. You go, yeah, cancel clone. Now I'm gonna attach every single energy and just one shot you. Get out of here. This, I like this attack. This attack right here. <laughs> this attack does 60 damage for each of your opponent's Pokemon EX and Pokemon V. Unfortunately, they've only got one currently. Yeah, they only got one. So I'm just gonna do this one. Lost one. Smack him one. <laughs> Just give him a good smack. Well, technically you're slashing, but smack him. Good old Zama Center. Used to be a bit. That used to be meta back in the day. Yep, Zama Center. So I'm gonna. But now you can knock to... that straight out. Yeah. I have too many. I should sure will work good. Pokemon are basically. I don't really want to do that. My stretch is a good card though. Always helpful. Send him to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Unfortunately, Squawk's absolutely useless now, though. Yeah. At least it's free discard fodder. Yeah. Discard fodder is good. 
luminous energy. Hourglass. Yeah, I managed to pack a gold hourglass in the set. You're a dark patch, but there's no dark Pokemon on your yeah. board right now. Okay, so I get Umbreon. Uh, put up here. Can't use that either. He's gonna yeah. knock you out, I think, on the next turn. Probably. I don't know what his attack does, I, didn't, I can't see it from here. His attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's attack. So I don't have- I only have 50 damage on my-, my, my Yeah. So, so it does 150, it's gonna be knocking you straight out, unfortunately. Oh, 250! Holy crap. Yeah, it's gonna knock you straight out. So you need to get- you need to get a Pokemon and fast. Gonna hit you for 500 on your next turn. Oh boy. <clears throat> Hopefully, you better goza helps you. Flips and not been your friend, huh? No, nope. coin flips are not my friends. Oh, easy. don't worry. You remember what happened last time? I didn't get heads like four or five times in a row yeah. with my Machamp deck. At the end of your turn, after you attack, if this Pokemon card is attached to the active pile, you may attach basic energy card from your discard pile. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, if you put it in the uh, chat, I should be able, in the Pokemon TCG chat, I'd be able to have a look here for you. We can give you advice. If that's what you, if that's what you need, if you need a bit of advice. I'm not the best, but I could definitely look at it. Which energy should I renew? Yeah, I'm gonna remove that one. What? I have so many. Oh, 
also in the Pokemon oh. TCG live chat, my decks are also in there, so if you do want to have a look at those, you're more than welcome. Heads, heads, yeah, so heads, 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 heads. Yay, heads! Yeah, so I was looking at the, uh, looking at your pools that you got. They're very nice pools. Like the full art secret arts is very nice. The Maraid on the X. I think I can, might be able to make a rebel room work in my deck in Goldengo. And attach all and all energy attached, so you can grip it all back out and smack them again. It's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, if you put it in the in the chat, if you put it in the Pokemon in Discord, put it in the Pokemon TCG live chat. No tails, no heads. Cool. I'll. Ah, I knocked it out! <laughs> Get lucky. Oh, I got a bad time. I'll put it on my clipboard and I'll have a look quickly and I'll give you some advice. Oh, what did you say? Rock hard to get six. and paste it into, I think I'll probably even have the cards to build it so I can always like have no a I'm gonna get slapped in the face <laughs> <Burn it. laughs> you know when you see when you see a eye in hand what is he gonna do smack <laughs> thank you very much smack <laughs> All right, I'll have a quick have a look. Okay, so you it seems like you're trying to run. Charmander, Charmian. You're trying to run a Charizard Moon. Okay. Sneasel. Okay. What's your thing? So you got. Burn it. Oh. Okay. I'm down to just the squawk now. Oh, I got a Zor. Hmm. So you're doing like it's exactly like a damage counter deck. Hmm. With like a roaring moon sublime. Sub I, I love poisonous jungle. During your opponent's checkup, put two damage counters on each poison gun dark Pokemon. Both yours and your own. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna unreal. Personally, it's this is my opinion. Uh Charizard Roaring Moon I don't because of Charizard's ability just sticking fire energy onto itself I wouldn't recommend running Charizard with Moon I'd run Charizard or Roaring Moon I wouldn't run both because if you're tr cuz you can get hand clumped very very easily in my personal opinion uh don't get me wrong uh, Petra Rant, very good Pokemon. 
but the uh, obviously it was a very good combination with Sneasler, but then you ha and of course the Ochi do Oki Dog. But the problem is they don't synergize at all with Moon or with Charizard, so it just doesn't really like fit together. So if you're building, if you're using uh, OG Gatti EX with Sneasler and uh, Petra Run EX, you could run that as like a poison deck. It's very easy to build. With you could run that with Brood Bonnet and stuff like that, which is easily, which is part of the sets. Uh, Charizard. If you're running Charizard, I'd run it with like a PGR, a PGR EX. And maybe like Radiant Zard or something like, or Dragapult. And then Roaring Moon, you could run, I would run Darkrai, uh, Darkrai, Roaring Moon, Turbo. So you could just get energy out of this card quickly as possible and just set up all your Roaring Moons in one turn. And then just keep using uh, Fre Frenzy Gouging just to knock theirs out and keep yours alive. Or you can just trade off KOs. Well, and... that was a good game. I definitely need a... Yeah. Fix this deck up a bit. But it's interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. And also, by the looks of your Pokemon, you have no protection against like Greninja, because Greninja will just knock out yeah. your Charmanders constantly. Because if they see Char Charizard with Charmander, they just go, ooh, knock out, knock out, knock out, knock out. So they're going to repeatedly just keep targeting you with that. So I'd run if I was if you were gonna do that I would run like a Manaphy or and a you don't have to but you could run a Jirachi as well if you wanted to but you Manaphy is a must because you don't want to get Greninja trust me you don't <laughs> it's horrible. On to the items. I like your structure of the items. I personally wouldn't run a Great Great Ball. Great Ball isn't great isn't that good unfortunately in my personal opinion nest ball at four that's fair enough four, i'd say four or three for nest ball good choices ultra ball i would get rid of the great ball and put in an ultra uh, artisan the issue with artisan is you've got nothing to search with with artisan besides the charmander and you could only use the Calamity Storm once because you've only got one stadium. So is it really worth doing 220 damage for one turn? That's what you've got to think about with the moon. Box of Disasters is an interesting card. You can, you could probably use that pretty well uh, nowadays with... Uh, Damage counter decks, like poison, very well with poison decks. But the issue is, you have to use it for a V Pokemon, and you have no Vs. So, unfortunately, that's not really going to work in your deck. So, I would personally take Boxes Arters out straight away, unless you've got a way of having a V Pokemon to use it with. Free boss, yep, fair enough. I run two or three, personally. Parfing at two. If you're running, char if you're run trying to get your Charmanders out as quickly as possible, yeah, run two. That's fair. Uh, Daisy's help. I would not run him. I don't think it's that great. If you're really struggling to find basic Pokemon, run a Heavy Ball. So you can look at all your, you can look at all your prizes. And if it's a basic in there, you can take it out and put it back to your hand. And then put the, but then it puts the heavy balls as its replacements. So it's just easier to look at your prizes, know what your prizes are, and be able to uh, take the basic that you need and put it back into your hand. <clears throat> dark patch at three. I always run them at four if I can. Especially in any dark deck, it's absolutely necessary. I own all one. Personally, if I was running Iono, I always run them at four or three or four minimum. Seiju Dark Arts is very, very good. I would run two to three in the deck ah. if you're running any Pacific Dark types. 
hundred percent. Rare candy. Uh, when you're playing Charizard, you have if you're playing Char plan to run a Charizard, run for rare candies. If you're <laughs> playing just base Charizard, but if you're not, and you've got only three or four, I would run as many rare candies as you can evolve. So if, if you've got three Charizards, I'd get three rare candies. And <clears throat> a Clavel, I would not run. Clavel's not great. I would r recommend running some kind of way of either discarding your hand or uh, to draw more cards or I would run like another Iona or a boss or something like that because if I was getting rid of Clavo, I would grab a research so you can discard your hand especially if you have energies that you just don't need and you've got a bunch of uh, Dark patches, you can just go dark patch onto one basic, dark patch onto another, dark patch onto another, and you can just turbo your way through with dark types. And Hero's Cape is always a good one to run, but you could also run Aroma as well. Aroma allows you to, if you've, if you've got any only stage ones, you can just immediately evolve them into stage one afterwards. And then just keep searching, evolving, searching, evolving. But that's perfectly up to you if you want to run that. Oh, but awesome. Hero's Cape is a good option. And energy-wise, I personally would not run Double Turbo. You don't... Personally, you don't really <laughs> need Double Turbo. Unless you're... Unless you're really relying on... Uh, OG, unless you... You honestly you already don't even run, think you'd need to run Double Turbo at O. At all, because unless you're unless you're specifically running it for Radiant Sneezler, I don't see the point because you have most of your energies are both dark or both fire, so DCEs isn't really going to help. So I would stick it to basic energies if you were running that if you're specifically running this. Alright, I'm gonna have to unlock some packs because <laughs> I don't have enough cards. Yeah. That's fair. Also, another thing I have seen in here is you have no way of switching. You have no switch cards. So I'd run at least maybe one, maybe two switches. Just so you can instantly switch it out if, they, if you can't get it out of the act with no energy. And you can give them a free prize card. That could be a really big issue. Because them taking early knockouts can ruin everything. Ruin your whole setup and ruin your game. But if you have... I'm now going to have a look at the comments and see what you put, so I can now adjust and see what you say. Let me know which one of the three you would prefer, and I can A, give you some Pokemon that can help, or B, depending on if it's Mo if it's Zard or Moon, I might be able to give you a list. How many code cards are you going to be doing? Uh, probably 20. Reasonable amount. I think you know you do 10 at a time though, which is really unfortunate. Yeah. I don't have any Twilight Masquerade in the in the games, and, and I need some Twilight Masquerade cards to um, build this other deck I'm trying to build. Yeah, because I'm waiting till I'm pay. I'm waiting till uh, Tuesday. And then as soon as Tuesday comes around, I was going to uh, buy some codes myself, because I need to. I'm 
might even consider buying myself an ETB. Yeah. I'm probably gonna, um, probably, I don't know if I can open the game on my phone and the computer, but if I can't, I will just stop the game on the computer, switch to my phone, and then uh, upload all the codes through my phone, and then put yeah. it back on. Back on yeah. the game, yeah. And if Five does say anything, then he'll have to let me know because I'll because obviously I can't read the comments at the moment because a friend of mine wants to wants me to show him the card that I got from him giving me a pack. He gave me a golden uh, gold uh, gold I think iron bo iron uh, boulder ex oh, nice. in gold. I managed to pack that in gold. I was like, ooh, spicy. He's not very, unfortunately, he's a, he's not a very good EX, unfortunately, but it's a nice gold card to have. Don't, I don't actually have it IRL. I have the, uh, the full art one, but not the gold art one. Hmm. Also a question for you, how long have you been playing, uh, and collecting Pokemon for? I've been collecting Pokemon since I was five. And I've been playing, playing the TCG game since, uh, I've been playing the TCG game on, on, on the computer, uh, on and off for about four years and about three years IRL. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that. You still have to let us know uh, what uh, card you pull. <laughs> there we go. Just put my giant overlay of my of me <laughs> covering the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna open up all the packs right here on the on the on the stream. Let's see if you get any goodies. I'm looking forward to it. You know what? What I'll do is, if you want in some uh, masquerade, what I'll do is when I'm paid on Tuesday, I'll send you 50 codes of masquerade to help you out because you help me out. I might as well help you out as well. Oh, don't worry about it. Might as well. I'm saying, I've got. I'm getting codes for myself anyway, so I might as well just get two birds and one stone. Because I was gonna get. A I was gonna get a hundred masquerade anyway, so I just give half of them to you, and then the rest of them I'll keep for myself. So I don't mean. I don't need masquerade that much. I think the only thing I'd want from Masquerade is probably maybe a couple more full art pheasantipities. Yeah. Or I'd want uh the or I'd want the uh God, what is called now. Alright, well there's ten cards I just entered in. Collect them all and yeah. turn off that. Pokemon cards, gotta catch them all. Demon codes. 
Here we go. Twilight Masquerade. Creepy. Shimchar. Scolipede. Carmine. Sand Slash. And Tinglu. Second mm, pack. Uh, that pack wasn't great. Whirlipede. Angela. Lana's Aid. Monfrino. Zapdos. And Enormous. Unfortunate pack. <clears throat> Corfish. Laren. Scolipede. Darmana Darmanitan. Ooh. Enormous. Full art. Full art one. Nice. And Frostless. Frostless is used a lot. Darmanitan. Again. Festival Grant. Darmanitan. Reverse. Again. Pezendipity. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's not the EX one. I know, but if, if this Pokemon has any dark energy attached and is damaged by an attack, flip a coin if heads prevent that damage. Maybe I'll put that in the dark deck. It's quite a funny card. I would have to do I would have to do dark energy and psychic. You could run that you could run uh uh Zora Dot a uh, Zero Box with God of War. Hmm. Or run it with Mimikyu. Yeah. Prize count. Wow. You have more prize cards remaining than your opponent. <laughs> this attack does 90 more damage. That's pretty good. Mm. 90 damage, though, is not a lot. Not a lot. Castle. Ooh, full art Applin. Applin's actually good. Uh, the new, uh, Heal mask. Oh, obviously this next, this next, Oh yeah, I was, th uh, I was thinking of, I was thinking yeah. of running this, uh, card, Teal Mask Ogrepan, just for the top, you know, just for the top attack. Search your deck for do? up to two basic energy cards, reveal them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You could run that with the actual EX version, because the EX version allows you to use those grass energies to put it onto the active and then draw another card. Oh. That's the EX ability, and then it does, I think it's like three energy, it does like 160, I believe, with some of her ability. Yeah. Leap Young. Only if we're, only if we're Zodra, Alakazam EX. Alakazam EX stall is funny. Here it is. Forgot about that. Pokemon's uh, community, community center. And keep it down. Uh, unfortunate. Little baby. Mickey Yenna. Oh, Applin. And Husu Hisuian Archon. Huh. If your bench Pokemon have any damage counters on them, this attack does 90 more damage. And it doesn't cost anything. It's a, it's a stage one Pokemon. Yeah. If it was a basic, that'd be really good. Iron leaves. Mm. I like this. Because the like EX the... version, that would have been nice. Yeah, I like this version though. It uh, put up two Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Yes, decent attack. You could run that with uh, quite a few ways. You could probably <laughs> run like stuff like that. That easy. Wow. 
No. Those packs. <laughs> those of, those oh, packs yeah. were terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. that's what I was thinking. I was like, oh no. <laughs> Why are they so mean? Yeah. Only they would have, only if they were, he could have gotten at least one EX. Come on. Yeah. Even if even if it wasn't a bad even if it was a bad EX, at least he would have gotten one. But he'd even get that. That's so unfortunate. But I bet you in your next one you're gonna get three EXs and one of them is gonna be a drug of hole. <laughs> that is my guess. No, I'm saying Dragon Ball's a good one I get though. Oh yeah. I'd be happy with a Dragon Ball. I do want to make a Dragon Ball deck, but the EX is just cost a lot of money. Yeah, they're about four dollars each. The cards. The IRL ones are yeah, but on TCG, I'm oh, yeah, gonna buy, make it on TCG live. Yeah, they're like one thousand two hundred. I think they're like. I think they're like 600 per one. <laughs> yeah. Which, no offense, I'm not paying that. <laughs> not for when I've only got 900 myself. But yeah. I'm really looking forward to the new Mel Metal. Because that Pokemon's going to be really fun to run with my Mel Metal deck that I've built already. We're like, double the Mel Metal, double the fun. It's like a steam train. The issue with it is I need time to set it up. One card can ruin the whole deck. Oh, it's called Stelia Crown. That's what the new set is called, is it? Stella okay. Crown, yeah. So I know there's the new Lapras. I know there's the Mel Metal. I don't know what Cinderace. else. Like, EX is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not too bad. I don't really know a lot about the new set. I might have a look at like, information on it to see if it's worth buying. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to Surging Sparks, which is the next set that's coming out in November. That would be great because I'll be... It's got a uh, new Pikachu that... in it. And it might be a yeah, Pikachu prob... Terror card. So. Cool. Yeah, because that'll probably be the set that I'll be buying for the... Uh, the winner for the tournament. Nice. And what I'll do is I will give I'm gonna give everyone like a month in advance, so mm -hmm. it gives people pre time to prepare and everything like that. I've had a chat with a few people already, and there's gonna be a, a minimum of sixteen people already interested in doing it. So it'll be and me and the person collaborating with we're both gonna be hosting it and uh, actually. Doing like a full on live streams of all the games. That's cool. So I thought it would be like a, I thought it would be like a really cool idea. 
and concept. I said you're gonna get three EXs. <laughs> Here comes the next twenty. I mean the next ten. They're saying the next twenty? No, the next ten. <laughs> yeah, that's what I meant. Just I thought you were saying twenty. You can't put twenty in there. I still think that's really silly though. You can only put you can only do ten at a time. Ooh, gold enhanced hammer. Oh, that is a very very nice pull. Very very nice pull. That and Iron Hands? Woo wee! I would, to be honest with you, I would take that over more than an EX. Yeah. Iron Bundle, good card. Mm, not really that great. Yeah, that's what the Pokemon's called that I have on my front picture. It's Mope Morpeko. Oh, okay. That's what the Pokemon is. Uh, the Ground Zenith Morpeko collection uh, map, roll map. Another pheasant dibity, huh? Yeah. Cramorant. The bad Cramorant. Reverse walking weight. That's not bad. Man, you're getting so many reverses, but you're getting no Ooh, uh, legacy major cards. energy A spec. That is very nice. It's one of the ones I actually need to be honest. I need that for my Asia Slash. Ooh, Iron Thorns, yeah. That is a very good one to pull. Obviously, that yep. card won the World Championships. Yep. I did say you're gonna pack some good cards in these. I did say this. Yeah. Gimler. Okie dokie. Iron Bundle Reverse. And a you Dragon Pole EX. One. I told you we're gonna pack the Dragon Pole! <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. bloody told you! Yeah. Brokey? Called it. Called it. Yeah. Ooh. I'm a rat full art. It's nice looking Iron to be fair. Chief Beaver, I said you're gonna pack three EXs. <laughs> I was close. Yeah. Uh, you packed two EXs and a gold card. So mi yeah. I'm counting now. I don't care. I'm counting now. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna get off the game, upload some more codes, and uh, come back more later. More codes, more the merrier. I'll, pro I'll probably be streaming again tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. So roughly around the same time, 4 p.m. Eastern, whatever time that is, everywhere else. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. I'm like waving, I'm like waving to the camera, like yeah, yeah. <laughs>